So just to kind of sum up what it what it sounds like you're saying is is that whether you've you've got the resources or you're lim- you got limited resources and you want to transition into this and you want to come over to into our world and and you know have a more rewarding career for for your, you and your family to be able to help people during natural disasters and all that kind of stuff. There are ways, right? So you, maybe you look at MoCAT or my fast track to deployment training or veteran adjusting school, and you're like, man, there's no way in the world I can afford all those with all the rest of this stuff. You know, what else can I do? There are other options, absolutely. There are a lot of the IA firms these days have training centers, right? Mm-hmm. They have on-the-job training. And this this kind of goes back to your earlier point, you know, go do ladder assist with somebody. You, you might be able to get on with Crawford's um, claims inspection services and do roof inspections for, for them, right? You might be able to jump on with Hancock and do some stuff with those guys and kind of like just learn that piece of it, right? The scoping of a roof. And then mm-hmm. go in and sit in a cubicle. They still do that, by the way. I mean, you know, pilots going to have in Mobile, they're going to have call centers and stuff like that when a big storm hits. And you can go sit there and do that kind of thing. I know Crawford, um, before they'll let you do any kind of remote work, they want you to come to Allen, Texas and sit in a yeah. cubicle, right, for five yeah. weeks and mm-hmm. learn the ropes, right? And it's more than just, well, I learned Xactimate, I learned how to draw a diagram or roof, I learned, you know, this and that. You still got to learn Navigator, maybe ECS, for, for sure, for State Farm, you know, yep. um, whatever next gen if if uh, all state still is using that so on and so forth you got to learn those things and they each have their own process for the the main things that you, you do as a claim but having worked for a bunch of different companies you know that there's like you get the file you call the person you set right. it up in exactimate or stability then you inspect it then you write an estimate you know maybe you have to set reserves at some point in there you know you got to fill out a diary maybe a glr do an invoice do a damage eval do a claim summary and mm-hmm. you're out, right? Well, finding that stuff in like VCA versus file track versus, you know, navigator or whatever else it is, is the part where people, you could be up at three o'clock in the morning spending in two hours trying to figure out where how to do put reserves in someplace if you've never yep. seen this before, right? Or if you were like on your phone during orientation, you know, at the, for, her, for the hurricane, right? right. Um, so the I firms have a lot of trainings for this kind of thing. This is why I always tell everybody, you know, go to those whenever possible. A lot of the time they're free. Sometimes they're very, very low cost, right? They're 99 bucks or 299 or something like that, which is a fraction of what it is at like my training, right? Or MoCAT's training is definitely like a tiny fraction of what veteran adjusting school is. Um, and they're going to get you kind of the broad strokes. If you can, this is the, the follow-on advice that I always have to give um, because I think, that, and you know, I think you'd agree with this, your repetition, the reps, they're absolutely critical, right? So the more you're exposed to something, um, the more different perspectives you see on something, right? So maybe maybe you jump into Adjuster TV Plus and you take level one and two Xactimate certification prep, right? Mm-hmm. But then you go to Pilot's got an Xactimate training or, or Xactimate's part of Pilot's training or you decide you want to go to MoCAT, they're going to have a, up to level two in there as well. And you're going to get it from a different instructor, right? He's going to say... We may have a slightly different angle on things, that, stuff that I didn't talk about, and then I'll talk about things maybe they don't talk about, right? So right. it starts to fill in the picture, right? And the more you're yep. exposed to it, the more reps you have, the more experience you have with this stuff, the better off you're going to be. When you do get thrown onto that big storm and they just hand you a bunch of claims, like, oh, yeah, we had help rooms all over the place. And you walk into the help room, and it's two people, two helpers, right? Right. And there's 40 people in that in a little tiny conference room in an extended stay, right? There's no way you're getting help in there. Turn around with your claims, walk out, go back to your hotel room and just muddle through, right? But if you've got exposure to it, if you've if you've done like you said, it's like, hey, they've got one thing. It's a six-hour round trip. You know, go do it. They feed you another one, right, in the off-season, right, when it's slow. Like, we're ramping up into storm season right now, right? But there's there's still stuff everywhere. Obviously, you're working right now, you know, and you're probably yeah. working nonstop, right? So mm-hmm. having the opportunity, it's—, it's it, the thing that a wise manager once said to me is when uh, I got a little grumpy about getting handed a whole bunch of um, mobile home claims on a big hurricane. Yeah. He said, Matt, <clears throat> it's not how you start out. It's how you finish up. Just handle these things and then we'll just, you know, we'll go from there. And it was, he was right. Right. I ended up doing commercial and all that kind of stuff and stayed on that storm for a long time. 
It's not how you start off, right? It's, it, you got to start somewhere. And the best, the best way to start is to just start, right? Just do, like you said, network, call. If you went to NACA and you made a bunch of contacts, start calling, start just calling those people once a month or once every two weeks or whatever. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Haig Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Haig Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for and everything else. Looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at HaigEducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.